Hi, uh, welcome to the first of many YouTube updates that we're going to start posting. Um, our company is MotorAid. Uh, we're a German car specialist based in uh, Essex. We've got branches in Basildon and Hainault. Uh, today, um, we thought we'd post uh, some information about Mercedes Benz um, Star Diagnostics uh, X Entry Tab. This is the latest bit of Star Diagnostics kit from Mercedes Benz. Um, it's March uh, 2016. So, Jason, our general manager, is just going to show us around the star diagnostics machine i thought it'd be, be quite interesting because when you bring your car into uh, a german independent specialist it, it's always important uh, to know what kind of diagnostics equipment they've got there's lots of copy machines out in the marketplace uh, and this isn't one of them this uh, machine um, I, I believe we're one of few independents uh, in the country um, that's actually got one of these. Um, this has got live data feed uh, through to Mercedes-Benz at Milton Keynes so we're getting the latest updates 24 hours a day. Um, we've currently got this connected to a vehicle via uh, our Wi-Fi so although we're sitting in the conference room here we've got it connected to a vehicle in our workshops at the moment. Uh, that vehicle is... It's a Mercedes-Benz ML320 uh, it's in with us today to do a diagnostic test for a glow plug fault. Okay, so down the bottom you might be able to see uh, the chassis number um, and some various information about the um, about the car itself. Um, nothing to the degree of obviously once we start going and doing diagnostics. So, uh, Jace, take it away. So first of all, we're going to click past the uh, dashboard screen. And now we get a request as to how far, uh, what vehicle we would like to go into. We can put a chassis number in, we can select a uh, passenger car which will give us a drop down yeah. list, a uh, van uh, for the commercial vehicle side of the business, or super sports cars which is obviously your SLR. Um, few and far between, if you'd like to have one of these, uh, please bring it to us. <laughs> Uh, passenger car um, is automatically now running in to determine which passenger car it's connected to and so whilst it does that you'll see the uh, time bar running across the top screen. Uh, yeah, so di diagnostics for us is a really, really important part of our business on a day-to-day -day basis, so we do a hell of a lot of this. Uh, and I guess having a piece of kit like this is really important because it's given us the most accurate data on the vehicle. A lot of the copy software out there from China, and you've got all sorts of different diagnostic companies out there that provide, provide uh, diagnostic machines and software, but you, you can't beat Star Diagnostics as far as accurate diagnostics on Mercedes-Benz vehicles. So let's go to the next step, Jace. Uh, this is just a safety information, just making you aware of electrostatic discharge. Uh, this vehicle is not one of those to be uh, worrying about. Uh, so we just process now whilst the uh, Exentry tab talks to the multiplexer that, as Simon said earlier, is now sitting in the car. Yeah, um, so that, that's actually plugged into the port on the vehicle. OBD so port. OBD port, yeah. Underneath the uh, driver's steering wheel, just above the kick panel. Um, as you can see the star machine uh, or Exentry tab does everything automatically it's just communicating now with the multiplexer in a minute we will get a uh, option as to where we want to go whether we would like to do a quick test which is a short test result to see where the faults are or whether we would like to do a uh, direct control unit opening and so on. Yeah, so, so some of the kind of stuff that we can do with this, um, um, we can do SCN coding with it. Um, so for a lot of security coding modules that need to be done on vehicles, uh, keys, e you know, kind of ECU units, that kind of stuff. Um, so we're at the, the page now where, we, as Jason said, we can click on the various different functions on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick test. Today on this we're going to do we? a quick test. Uh, some more videos will follow where we're going to control and some maybe some retrofitting, but. For now, we're going to do a quick test to diagnose uh, the reported fault from the customer to do with a glow plug. As you can see from the top right hand screen, uh, hopefully you can see that, I'll put the cursor over it, you'll see this, this is monitoring the battery voltage. It is very important that during all diagnostic tests on Mercedes-Benz and other uh, manufacturers, the vehicle is connected to a battery supply charger. Uh, we have one of those on the vehicle at the moment so that the battery voltage does not drop below 12 volts. 
So that, that's quite interesting. Obviously, on the left-hand side, the ECU, uh, the engine control unit, um, but basically the Star Diagnostics is tapping into that ECU, and all of the different modules on the car are connected to the ECU unit that you see on the left-hand side. So, for example, um, you've got Command here, which, as everyone knows, if you've got Sat Nav and Hands Free System in Mercedes-Benz vehicles, this is the centre con console unit that controls those functions. Um, and on the right hand side we've got an information tab which Jason will go through um, and explain to you in a little bit more detail uh, in a moment and also um, I believe here Jace uh, MB number is the part the number, part number for, the uh, for, for each of the controlled modules so we've got some <coughs> results out there so Jace can you just explain to us uh, what we're seeing for example I mean a good one to be pointed out really would be uh, the CDI4 common rail diesel injection so that's got an F by it yeah. um, the tick by it basically means that everything's good on the vehicle doesn't it a tick against the result means the uh, that ECU or control unit is clear of any faults an F means it has a current and stored fault uh, an I is an event so a very minor uh, occurrence uh, it's classed as an event and a, a small F is a stored fault um, so this is a small F here on the overhead control panel so what what we will do now is we will hit the uh, the magnifying glass and this will give us a short test report this report we can print out uh, and we keep it in our information pack or hand it over to the customer uh, if requested so I'll just scroll down the report and you will see uh, on the report I've got to the big F yeah um, that's uh, just the big F is here there, isn't it yeah and you will see what is faulted is the glow plug cylinder free has got an open circuit as you can see it's a current and stored fault because the vehicle ignition is on as required to carry out this diagnostic test, hence why it's a current stored fault. Um, I can click in from here and directly open the CDI control unit to investigate the fault further. I think something to uh, be aware of at this moment in time, obviously a diagnostic machine will give you, I mean especially a diagnostic machine with this capability will give you the most accurate data. But of course, Jace, a lot of it is down to the capability of the technician. Um, there are pieces of diagnostics equipment out there that will say glow plug fault won't tell you what cylinder it is, for example, so yep. therefore uh, the technician then will have to take a lot more time finding in spending more customers money in order to find where the problem is and that's not what it's about is it because spending obviously this kind of money uh, and investing into this piece of equipment gives fast accurate uh, data reduces technician um, time on the job and therefore uh, the customers uh, benefit is that they spend less when they come into yes. us isn't uh, it you'll get an accurate diagnostic uh, from from the star machine um, it still does require some uh, some investigation as you can see it says glow plug cylinder free open circuit um, I can click the magnifying glass again and I can now see how many times this glow plug has faulted when it first faulted and uh, most recently at what engine speed temperatures etc um, so I can then analyze obviously if it's if it's a one-off sporadic fault as it's current fault it, it's going to be not this has happened four times this is four times since it was last arose this the uh, customer uh, does have his own garage and has brought it to us to uh, carry out the repair because he's erased it and he hasn't managed to cure the problem and so we're now we are now investigating the fault um, the information I have is he fitted a glow plug control module to rectify the fault well it's clearly not the glow plug control module it's now either a broken wire between the control module and the glow plug or the glow plug that's quite interesting isn't it I mean that, that's a perfect example of how another garage has got a standard piece of soft, uh, software and hardware but can't do 100% of the job uh, whereas this star diagnostic six entry tab gives us the the latest uh, information and gives us detailed information now, now that particular garage has obviously spent a fortune on uh, the control module when there was no need to spend that money so what I'll what I'll do now is we'll do a printout of our, of this report um, so that we have a copy. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all the fault codes um, as my technician will now investigate. He will do a resistance check on the glow plug and a resistance check on the wiring to confirm whether the fault is wiring or the glow plug and replace the glow plug if that's what's required. Um, it's a little simple button now. We're just going to press F9. It's going to ask me if I want to erase everything. Uh, yes, we do.
Yeah, so, I mean, obviously from, uh, from here on in, uh, Jason's actually going out into the workshop, which is actually uh, ne next door. Um, we need to go for a process of obviously switching off the ignition, switching on the ignition in order for the test to be completed. Um, as I said before, um, the, the amount of information that we get on this star diagnostics machine is very, very detailed. Uh, we can tap into every single uh, ECU unit um, or minor ECU unit that, that's actually directly connected to the major ECU unit and read all of the information on there, um, which is absolutely fantastic as a German independent like Motor Aid is. Um, we've, for us, going forward, this is the way to go to have manufacturers' diagnostics equipment. This is exactly the same as what you would see in a Mercedes-Benz dealership all across the UK and all over the world for that matter of fact. Um, it's just our business and company decision to actually uh, purchase this bit of kit because nearly 40% of our business is actually Mercedes-Benz. Uh, we've also found uh, over the years, years we've actually had other pieces of, uh, of diagnostics equipment in that hasn't done the job exactly like we wanted it to be done. It's cost us money, it cost the com uh, customers money uh, and that's not really where we're going with it. So th th this is a, a brilliant bit of kit that actually reduces the costs for customers too. So, um, okay, so that's, uh, that's been switched off Jace and, uh, and, and rebooted on, on the ignition. Um, the battery voltage is, is just increased slightly. It looks like when it went below 12 volts there, it kicked into a red light. So that, is that showing you some kind of warning or danger zone? Or, or is that top right hand corner there just a communication with the battery and voltage? It's just warning that the battery voltage did drop below 12 volts. That was while I was recycling the ignition that the battery charger has spiked. As you can see now, it's come back up. Um, so it's now back in control of the voltage. Um, so we have uh, no concerns now. Um, what I'll do is I'll reprint the short test now to see and confirm that all the faults have cleared. Uh, apart from the obvious, current faults should come back on this short test. I say, so we're going through the same uh, uh, process again. Um, and we think that we will get um, the same problems with that um, glow plug. So let's see if we're right or wrong. Okay, so it looks like the results are coming through now for all of the different modules and I did spot a fault at the top when it was running the actual results of the test through. As you can see we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of ticks, as Simon said there was an F at the beginning which I suspect is the uh, CDI unit uh, and also an information bar which I'm going to pop open just to show you uh, what has come up with regards to information and a minor fault. So as you can see there we've got the fault uh, still in for the glow plug as we know that was a current stored fault so that's not going to raise and we've also got an information uh, sign come up advising us of a minor fault. Have a look at that event. So this is to do with the ESP, which is the Electronic Stability Program uh, on on the vehicle. Um, so that's an event stored, as just we can a, see. Yeah, it's just stored as under voltage fault, um, which is possibly because the battery on this vehicle is quite weak. Uh, the voltage has dropped below the specified for that control module. Um, so yeah, it's not. A, it's not an error that we need to worry about, it is only an event just an advising us that there is a weakness with the battery voltage. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's basically an Exentry tab um, diagnostic test. Um, we've done a, done a test, a printout and erased the faults. We're now going to obviously investigate the uh, CDI4 fault with glow plug cylinder 3. Um, and get that rectified for the client. Okay, so we will be posting uh, some more interesting uh, videos on YouTube coming up. We are MotorAid, as I said, we're a German independent specialist uh, based in Essex. Uh, and if you'd like to visit us online, we are www.motoraid.com.